First reading, a reading from the book of wisdom, chapter 7, verses 7 to 11. I prayed, and prudence was given me. I pleaded, and the spirit of wisdom came to me. I preferred her to scepter and throne, and deemed riches nothing in comparison with her, nor did I liken any priceless gem to her, because all gold in view of her is a little sand and before her silver is to be accounted mire. Beyond health and comeliness I loved her, and I chose to have her rather than the light, because the splendor of her never yields to sleep. Yet all good things together came to me in her company, and countless riches at her hands. The Word of the Lord Second Reading A reading from the letter of Hebrews Chapter 4, verses 12 to 13. Brothers and sisters, indeed the word of God is living and effective, sharper than any two-edged sword, penetrating even between soul and spirit, joints and marrow, and able to discern reflections and thoughts of the heart. No creature is concealed from him, but everything is naked and exposed to the eyes of him to whom we must render an account. The Word of the Lord A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark As Jesus was setting out on a journey, a man ran up, knelt down before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? Jesus answered him, Why do you call me good? No one is good but God alone. You know the commandments. You shall not kill. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. You shall not defraud. Honor your father and your mother. He replied and said to him, Teacher, all of these I have observed from my youth. Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You are lacking in one thing. Go, sell what you have, and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. Then come, follow me. At that statement his face fell, and he went away sad, for he had many possessions. Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How hard it is for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. The disciples were amazed at his words. So Jesus again said to them in reply, Children, how hard it is to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. They were exceedingly astonished and said among themselves, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, For human beings it is impossible, but not for God. All things are possible for God. The Gospel of the Lord. During the day, my dear friends, we do come across so many questions. We do ask questions and we are asked questions to be answered. Such as, what do we have for the lunch? Where are you going? How are we going to do this? Such as these questions we do ask and we are answered during the day. Mind you, have you ever thought of asking or else have you ever aware in your mind to ask this question? Today, this rich young man who is met by Jesus, he does ask a very beautiful question. What did he ask? He asked Jesus, Master, what must I do to have eternal life? 
the least question that we ask in our lives from myself or do you do you, have you ever asked a priest father what do i have to do to inherit the kingdom to go to heaven have you ever asked a teacher your catechism teacher a priest a nun have you ever asked just think about it but my dear friends it is so surprising that this question is asked not by a pharisee not by a lawgiver even not by one of the disciples even not by an elderly but asked by whom a young person a young one a young one so jesus was surprised to be asked such a question by this young boy so jesus answered saying to him and explaining him the commandments that he has to undergo and this young person he very frankly said master i do follow all these commandments and in the gospel in the word it is very beautifully says then jesus looked steadily at him and loved him jesus was so pleased to be asked a question from a young person as like as well as to hear this young person is saying i am following these commandments so jesus was very pleased with this young person but then comes then comes the block that this young person had my dear friends what was that jesus says you give up all the riches all the wealth you have give them to the poor and follow me and it says this young person he had a great wealth so that he went back very sadly he went in a sorrowful way my dear friends this young person this young person this young adult he did everything he did everything 99% he did what jesus asked him to do but there was one block one missing block that was his wealth he was attached to it so much so when he heard that he has to give them up in order to have riches in heaven he was not ready he was not ready to give the riches of this earth in order to find riches in the heaven my dear friends so in the same manner you would think i i do such things i am following the commandments yes you may do 99 things correctly but there is one missing point in your life one attachment in your life that would hinder you from gaining riches in heaven because you need to gain riches in the earth if you want to gain riches in the heaven it is very clear all of us have to give away the attachments for the riches of this earth are you ready my dear friends to follow jesus by denying by renouncing the riches of the earth